Hello and welcome to Bite Size Paranormal Advice. My name is Anna and today we're looking at debunking a location because quite often we hear we hear sounds, we hear noises and a lot of people's minds go straight to the paranormal where there can be quite often a very rational reason why you are hearing those sounds. So let's get into it. 10 tips for debunking a location. So tip number one is to always check for drafts on doors and windows. Because quite often if there is a strong enough draft, doors can slam, doors can creak, windows can rattle. So tip number two, always make sure that you keep your trees, shrubs and bushes trimmed away from the house. Because in windy situations, those branches rubbing against the house can sound like something scratching. So tip number three, always change batteries in items that keep turning on. Because the batteries may be old, they may be faulty. It's not necessarily a paranormal influence causing the issue. So tip number four, stop watching horror movies, supernatural movies, ghost story movies. Anything that is going to trigger you when you go to bed is going to keep you awake. And you're going to hear every single little sound within your home, within your bedroom, down the street. And you're going to assume that it is a paranormal cause. So tip number five. So if you have issues with electricals in the house, or you're finding that the plumbing is playing up, always get a tradie in to check out the problem. Paranormal beings can cause issues with home maintenance, as in the plumbing, the wires, the electricity, and the pipes. But generally, it is just a rational cause. So tip number six, if you have an open fireplace, make sure that when you're not using it, is that there is a cover over it. So there's no possibility of whistling breezes coming down the chimney. Tip number seven, so be aware of wildlife around your home, whether you have possums on the roof or you may have birds nesting in the roof or in trees nearby. Wildlife can quite often make very loud, uh, very annoying noises that sometimes in the middle of the night can make you be fearful. So tip number eight, always check for dripping taps. That sound that happens in the middle of the night and you don't know what's caused it can quite often be the build-up of pressure in the pipes. Taps don't always drip as soon as they've been turned off. It can be one, two or three hours later. Tip number nine is always talk to young children about the sounds that white goods can make. We had a fridge once that made ghostly groaning sounds, uh, sometimes in the middle of the night. And young children can find that quite frightening. Tip number 10. So lastly, if you think you do have a paranormal issue in your home, you've gone through the checklist, you can't find any rational cause, call in a medium or a house healer or an energy clearer to do a space clearing within your home. Oh, and a bonus tip, always check for creaky floorboards. Seriously, we have this problem in our house. And so many times the children have said to me, there's someone walking around in the house in the middle of the night. And it could be a breeze blowing through the downstairs door and coming up through the floorboards. So thank you for watching today and here is another video for your viewing pleasure.